Uh, another back workout is done. I um, wasn't really sure what I was going to talk about today, but as I was doing my last routine as part of my back workout today, I was like, oh, I know. I know what I'm going to talk about. I know what I want to talk about. I really hate my back. <laughs> I don't, I really, I really uh, don't look forward to this particular workout. It is the most difficult, for some reason, it's the most difficult one I do. I think because the last routine is so challenging for me. It's a reverse fly where I'm, I've got free weights and I'm you know, pulling them up. I can't really demonstrate it here in this frame. It's very difficult. So kind of exercise where I'm like, God, when is this going to be over? You know, I'm in the wait period for my last set. It's like I'm back in high school, like watching the clock, waiting for those last five minutes to take off so I can get the hell out of there. That's what it feels like. When I'm done, I'm like, it's like, ding, yes. <laughs> Let me out of here. So, and I say that because this made me think of another video I saw recently. I'm like, fortunately, I can't remember who it was. So maybe it was Max. It might have been Max at Gravity. Yeah, I think it was Max at, at Gravity Transformation. Was saying that just because somebody is in really good shape, like he is, don't just assume that they love to exercise. And he, I think he admits that he often just doesn't enjoy exercising. He enjoys having exercised, enjoys the results and the satisfaction of having done it. It reminds me of a, a quote. I can't remember who said this, but it's been said many times. Uh, it was a writer. You know, they don't enjoy writing. They enjoy having written, which is, for me, is, is, is very true most of the time. I do enjoy going to the gym. I, sometimes I do look forward to it. I think it's because there's just that, that satisfaction of actually being engaged in something that I know is going to benefit me. But they are, trust me, I had moments where I'm like, oh God, you know, it would, it would have been so easy for me to slack off today's workout because I had a lot to do. And frankly, in, in the past, probably the workout I slacked off the most often was my back workout. I mean, for months at a time. And I would, even my leg workout, I mean, even during that same period, I would probably only do my leg workout maybe once or twice a month. <laughs> back in the old days, I'm talking like back in 2013. So, uh, and especially, definitely last year, I was hard, hardly went to the gym at all. And not last year. <laughs> I'm over, I've already raised 2020 from my memory. 2019, I barely went to the gym at all, even when I was losing weight. But yeah, I, I enjoy the satisfaction of having done it. Now that I've done it, I'm happy that I've done it. While I'm doing it, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> Particularly that last routine. Oof. Just as I got back in my car, I went and looked at the 24-hour uh, fitness app. 24 hours. They're not 24 hours anymore. They stopped being 24 hours even before the pandemic hit. So they, they've got my history there. Every, every, check, every time I've checked into the club in the past, well, ever. <laughs> and it just tells me I've, I've got, I've had 23 check-ins so far this year, which means pretty much everything I've done since March, since I didn't check in before March, late March. And apparently I missed my first back workout. I didn't, I didn't remember doing that, but I, uh, I was looking at that and I noticed that that first Friday of the first week I started wasn't in, the, wasn't logged. And so I checked my, my journal entries where I, I logged my workouts in my, in the day one journal on my phone. And I, it wasn't on there either. So I must have wasn't quite up to speed yet, but I don't remember doing that. It's funny. But ever since then, I have not missed a day. Sometimes I've done my back workout on Thursday instead of Friday because I wouldn't, you know, I wasn't going to have time, which is fine. That, that's always worked out fine. I never feel like it's like, you know, unreasonably difficult to do my back workout a day after my chest workout. So, but that's what I do. Just, just in case I probably haven't ever actually said what my routine is here or my schedule. Uh, Monday, I do legs. Wednesday, I do chest. And Friday, I do back. At some point, I'm going to start modifying my routines and, and adding things because I, I would like to work on my core a little bit more because I've never really targeted my abs before. That's one thing I want to start doing. And I'm probably going to start doing more sort of bicep type workouts after a while. But I, the thing is, I don't really want to get super beefy built. That's not my goal. I, you know, I, I would like to get down to a healthy weight so I'm not technically overweight anymore. And uh, I'd just like to be trim you know, and, and, and in good shape. And I'd like to feel good and be able to fit, do all the physically demanding things that my job requires me to do with the least amount of effort, right? And the least amount of uh, pain and injury and, and misery. <laughs> Seriously, the, the workouts help me in my job so much. And it's not just a physical thing. It's a mental thing. It it's, puts a spring in my step, for lack of a better term. It's a cliche, I know, but it's true. And it strengthens my singing voice. I've always kind of puzzled at why that is, but it occurred to me recently, it's probably because my diaphragm is getting stronger. The diaphragm is a muscle after all. Probably in, in the in the course of doing these, these, especially the upper body workouts I do, it's probably strengthening my diaphragm. So that's a good thing. That's all I got for you right now. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.